Hello. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied to you and yours. I have a burden on my heart to exalt us all about the spirit of rejection. For a few times now, one of the things that the Lord has been dealing with me is about the spirit of rejection. And I want you to know that it's one of the most useful tool that the enemy is using one to derail most of us from reaching out to what god wants us to have and to be who god really wants us to be the fullness the real capability that god has ordained for us to obtain and to use it as a tool in this earth realm Rejection is one of the tools that the enemy is using so that it's, it's crippling us to become who we are supposed to become in Christ. Rejection is the feeling of unworthiness, like when, when something is, is not accepted, then it is rejected. And some of us, we've had situations from the childhood, from our childhood, where we, we were rejected. We find ourselves in relationships where we were rejected in the sense that even with going out with girlfriends and boyfriends, they chose other people over us and we felt so rejected. And these things have become a taint in our minds amongst our siblings. Our parents preferred other kids more than to us. And we found ourselves being rejected. So we grew up with this mentality of rejection. And so any time that some things happen, it triggers a memory of rejection. It triggers a memory that I'm not worthy. I, I, I don't qualify for it. But you see, this has been a stronghold for some of us. You listening to me, this is what the Lord wants you to know. He said, the very moment you came, you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You became a new creation. I gave birth to new you anew. Now you have the nature of my son Jesus. And he has commissioned us to work in that new identity. It is different to know we have in the knowledge of something and in working in that thing. We know we are children of God. We know we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. But do we work in that knowledge? This is what the spirit of the Lord wants us to know. The enemy is using that spirit of rejection. That you don't even want to launch into the day because you, hey, what, what, if I do this and the people reject me. So then I wouldn't even do it. Why if I do this and I fail? And then the people will be laughing at me. So we wouldn't even do it. But you see, the most successful people on this earth will tell you that they failed so many times before they were able to achieve what they have achieved. So if even those in the, in the, in the, in the world, those people in the dark, they know these principles. Why is it that we, we feel that rejection should make us comfortable not to do anything? Not to do anything with the giftings and the talents that God has given us. Yes, you were rejected in the past. Yes, the man said he didn't want you again. Because you have grown fat. You have, you have three kids. You have five kids. You have changed. So I don't want you again. I want a, a, a young girl. Yes, he did. And he's gone. Let him go. Move on with your life. Yes, that boyfriend rejected you, so you think that you are not... After all, the Bible says it's not everybody who is going to get married. Move on with your life. Let us not let rejection be an instrument of the enemy to cripple us into where we are at in our past. It is time for us to arise, to move on. Yes, you put that application at the workplace and they said they, 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 they said no to you. Move on to another job. Apply for another one. And apply for another one. Don't let rejection stop you. Take that opportunity. Take that criticism. Take those the, the reasons that they gave you. Work on it and move on. 
if these things doesn't come sometimes you would not even sit back to know where you can work at in your life But aside making all these decisions, I want to let you know that the Holy Spirit is there. He is available to you, to use you. He is available to, to, to make sure that all those bitterness, all that pain, all those things, he will make sure that he will work it out. He will bring situation, people along your way that will help you come out of that. When he reveals certain things to you, there are certain situations only him can reveal to you. I didn't know that I had that situation until he revealed a position of my heart and why I do certain things. And then I am here to tell you that don't let the spirit of rejection stop you from being who God has made you to be. You remember the story of Leah. The Bible says when God realized that Jacob, he wasn't loved. The Lord opened his womb, her womb. For all you know, that rejection that he will give to God will be the bedrock, will be the reason why God will usher you to another level, another destiny, another kind of favor, another kind of glory, another breakthroughs for you. Like Leah. Use your rejection for your advantage. Give it to God. Tell him, Lord, I refuse to be bitter about this situation. I refuse to be bitter about my husband. I refuse to be bitter about my wife. I refuse to be bitter about my boss. I am moving out of this to reach out to who you want me to become. May this message bless you. Encourage somebody else with this message. Know that God did not give us the spirit of fear. And it's all rejection starts from fear. When you are afraid, when you have been experiencing that rejection, then you are afraid to try. And then the enemy is right there. Don't do this. If they reject you, what would you do? They would laugh at you. Don't do this. No. Reach out and do what only you can do. God is right there with you. My name is Lady Rhoda. Encourage somebody with this word. Follow us in all our social media platforms. YouTube, Read of Real of Hope channel. Lady Rhoda on Facebook page. Follow, like us, Twitter, Instagram, all of the social media um, platforms. Listen to the word of God and let it transform your life. The truth that you know is what will set you free. I only bring hope by the word of the Lord. Shalom, peace, and have a blessed evening. Bye.